Chris is a basket ready to go shopping. <laughs> Oh, you're after it. Chris has got something. I'm currently looking for a present for Joseph and I don't know what to get him. There's so much cute stuff. So much cute stuff, isn't there, Chris? What should I get Joe? Pikachu's dressed up the main bad guy. Oh, how cute is that? I don't know what to get him. What would he like? She's been asked about which is the newest Pokemon and we have no idea. Not really. I haven't watched Pokemon since I was about 10, which I think Chris said was the first series. And I think there was only 100 back then. Yeah. And I didn't know the names then. All I really know is Pikachu, yeah, which is a bit embarrassing. Oh, I know this one. That's an Eevee. But that's about it. So I think I'm going to buy Joseph a giant Pikachu. I think he'll love it. So here he is, coming home with me for Joe. Sadly, there's no t-shirts in his size, which is really sad, because Joseph is very, very big. <laughs> Let's go buy him. Ready to buy? Ready to go? He's so cute, he's so fluffy. This for Joseph and Christopher's waiting to purchase all his stuff, aren't you? Yeah. How cute is it? <laughs> Christopher's now found a bookshop and he's eyeing the books, so we might be here a while. <laughs> we know how much you love a bookshop. Yeah. Looks like Christopher's going to buy the whole section. It's going to be great fun. About to buy a hundred pounds worth of books, aren't you? Oh, 70 pounds. Close enough. Well, and half 
happy, really happy. Don't forget your seat, Chris, and your change. Do you want me to take the bag? Oh, sure. And your change. Don't forget your change. I think it's in my pocket. Okay. Everything around here seems to be like super cute. Don't they, Chris? So what's that? Oh! It's supposed Is that to an be an evil spirit or something. No, it's supposed to be. Uh, it's from one of the movies. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, you've got a penny here. And... How random! Everything is very, very cute. Everything's very cute and very girly. So we've just popped into Toys R Us to get my dad all the tin cans and hot. And Christopher can't help himself but play with everything. <laughs> mm. There's so much Thomas the Tank. I can't, actually, I can't believe we're in a Toys R Us because they're all closed where we are. I thought Toys R Us went bankrupt. So at the moment we're on a hunt for very, very cute baby clothes. So my cousin's about to give birth and I've been told to find something unique while I'm here. So let's go hunting for baby things. <laughs> So I've just found the young baby section and I was looking for something totally unique, the new baby, and we don't know whether it's a boy or a girl. So I was looking around, there's a lot of stuff that's not unisex, but then I found not this one, not that one, but underneath. It's a beautiful, it's a lovely, hold, it's a lovely unisex little thing for the new baby and I think she'll love it. In love, and I've got some cute stuff. I've got some makeup and things and the stuff in here is adorable. So we're going to hopefully go have a snack at the Milky Way Cafe. Let's go Chris. Just perusing the menu, thinking about what he's going to have. Oh my god! Look at the colour of that drink, Chris. How is it? It's my tongue. It's very blue. Show me. <laughs> Look at the size of that ice cream. I have no idea how I'm going to eat it all. I'm going to give it a go. So there's no way that I can finish it. But I know someone else who has. <laughs> 